Ooh, baby. Oh, look at that. All in there. Look at those beautiful pause caps. They're so intricate. Look at this massive, massive cooler. Dude. And then my new uh, liquid cooler set up here. I had to actually change before I had... Um, these tubes, I had them on the bottom here, but since the, this uh, graphics card is just a little bit longer than before, it wouldn't be able to actually, it would uh, cause the card to sag here if uh, the bottom of these tubes 
put way down the card here so I just turned them from the tubes coming out under here to tubes now they come out on over here and for some reason it actually gave me about uh, one and a half to two degrees cooler temperatures and I don't know if that's because the water in the element here is actually in this side here and then uh, on the other side so it's it's kind of like if you have it like this um, there's water here and then again on the inside over there on the other side there's water there's not really any water up here as far as I know and on the bottom so uh, definitely helped me out a lot but uh, let me just uh, plug in the last stuff here and as you can see the card sack is actually minimum there's almost no card sack here oh look at that so it sits beautiful and also these cables are going to uh, are so many of them so they're actually going to uh, push it up a little bit hold it in place not that it is actually super necessary or anything but that's just how it is let's see if we can see my one terabyte no no it's it's under there so i have a nvme uh, one terabyte card it's just uh, you could probably see it before before i put the card in but that's definitely not visible anymore easy access here to the uh, the two biases there uh, where am i pointing here so that's nice we're going to keep it on performance mode and i'm not going to overclock it since it is overclocked from the factory also another little thing here important is when you're going to use uh, maybe you haven't used this before oh let me just focus you can actually see down there there's a kind of a mechanism here so when you're putting in these you want to put them in together yeah so it's pretty hard it's a little bit hard to do with one hand oh there i got it so now you can see they are uh, locked in here oh let me focus up they are locked in there uh there there's a little mechanism so you want to keep that uh, single one locked in behind to make sure you get uh, full connection so that's actually important when you are going to be using so much power and ensuring perfect connectivity yep also you want to make sure that you're not really just using one cable as you can see now uh, this stack of cables is actually going to figure kind of like a, when the side comes on it's going to hold it up as you can see the card is moving a little bit up and down here so these cables are actually going to stiffen off and uh, hold the the whole board up but another thing is when you're using these uh, big cards high-end graphic cards uh, you don't want to just be using one uh, cable from the power su power supply and then use the Y stick, for example, if I were to use one of these, or if I were to use this one, so I just had one cable. Now, these two are actually separate uh, from the power supply. So as you can see, all of these cables and um, all of these cables here, they are actually, uh, these up here plugs, they are kind of the Y split, so they are... Um, actually part of the main cable they're just uh, kind of split out from the uh, mother cable or what you want to say so make sure that you're using two cables um, which are dedicated and you're not Y splitting your connection here to uh, make sure you don't run too much power through the cables so yeah just a quick note on uh, cables Okay, I got the side on here, and now you can actually see my reflection. <laughs> Just, hello, that's me, hello. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks uh, as it has been assembled. Nothing much to see here. Also, make sure you have a decent power supply. So uh, I have, I'm, I'm going to run this on a 750 power supply, which is pretty much going to be perfect. It's not going to be maxed out at all because my CPU is an i9 9900K. So it actually maximum uses like uh, 150, 60 watts. 
and that's on 100% load when running some SSE extended uh, uh, tasks. So that's uh, that's fine. It's going to be fine. I actually heard that you could run it on a 650. Obviously, depending on what kind of uh, hardware you have in your system, besides the actual GPU. So here you can see, this is my uh, anti-sag cable stack for this GPU. And I think we did it pretty well. As I can see, there's not really any sag on the card. And as you can see, the clearance here from my tubes, from my cooler element here, is uh, it, it's not even close. I mean, if I had run it before, um, the tubes would have actually leaned on the end here of the card, which would be horrible. Now I turned it around and the tubes are kind of crossing, so it's not the perfect thing. But for some reason, man, this uh, setup with my cooler is, it's insane. So uh, it was actually a good thing I turned it around. And I don't know if this crossing of the tubes, as you can see, helps with the cold going in the right and the warm uh, uh, liquid going out on the top or the bottom or whatever but it definitely just works so uh, let's uh, try and hook it up and see what we get or i mean uh, start it up start up the system and let's see what we get from it okay it's time to push the magic magic button let's see if this is as tough as it says it is here we go. Moment of truth. Okay, there's light. There's light. Oh, look at that. It's pretty much hidden in there. But there it is. Tough gaming. Oh, it's not spinning. Fair enough. Let me turn on my screens. See if I could get some posts. It looks all right. Looks like it might actually work. Oh, look at those beautiful box caps. That's so beautiful. Are you kidding me? Okay. And there it is, the post. I don't know if my screens are set up because I just changed my cables a little bit and it's the first time so I have to probably <laughs> pick my main screen. So that's me. That's baby me. Okay, cool. Okay, I got it to post on my second screen. Still a little bit of setup. Uh, I think this is, this is so grayish. Uh, I need to just set this screen up just a second. Okay. I think I got my screen here set on the right profile so it actually has beautiful deep colors which are not grayish blacks and what do we got over here I'm not sure it seems a little bit gray so let me just set that up as well okay got it set up and what are our temperatures beautiful temperatures beautiful 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 little high, I've been uh, trying to manage my, um, oh, okay, I can't go over there, let me just fix that. I've been trying to manage my, uh, it's getting a little colder, so now my heated floors are pretty much going crazy. <laughs> so I have to turn them down every day, it's uh, a little too warm in here, but uh, yeah, that's okay. Okay, so here we have the GPU, and we are reading 24 gigs. 1% and 56 gigabytes. I, I don't know what this is all about, but uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, so let me just get a few moments and I will try and do some benchmarks. Okay, so for the restart, here we have some numbers and here we have some clock speeds. So it's 19500 and 1740, which I'm not sure I like this one, but I definitely like this one. And the temperatures I also like. Already almost 10 degrees lower than my MSI. 
um, 1070 Ti. So definitely will. What is the power draw? I thought it was. Let me just get back to that. What the hell is this? This is so difficult and long to. a little bit annoying. What's going on? Fix it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're doing a little benchmarking here. Let's see what it says. Oh, maybe I can move my mouse. So this is the stats we have for now. I like this. 1995, 1980. Let's see what it, how it behaves. This is the first uh, benchmark. We're just doing uh, a good old performance test here. Let me focus up. See what it gets me. It's just I know the numbers from before, so I have something to compare with. I will do the... Uh, Port Royals and uh, Time Spy later, so uh, hang on. Here's a quick view of the temperatures, and it's still running here. I just had 600 uh, FPS on this, that's pretty crazy. DirectX 12. <laughs> I like this one so much, Fraxels. So here we can see I just had temperatures 66, and then it goes down a little bit. That's pretty alright, it's not too bad. I think it's going to be a good score. Okay, that's pretty crazy. 24,000. Dude, that's crazy. That's uh, 10,000 more than a 1070 Ti. Run time spy. Dude, that is a crazy result. What? What? Absolutely crazy. 16, 6. Oh, dude. Compare results online. What? 99% better than all. <laughs> dude, that's crazy. I've never seen anyone get such a high benchmark out of the box. I haven't even overclocked anything yet. Okay, okay. Not bad. 12,000. What's the graphic score? Let me just compare it just a second. 62 degrees. Look at my CPU temperatures. That's crazy. Maximum 81, 83. And that's with all these benchmarks. I also did a CPU benchmark. Okay, okay. Better than 95% on Port Royal. And this is my 1070 Ti score on Port Royal. 1563. Ouch. So yeah. That's the uh, 3090 OC. Welcome to the OC, bitch. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to upload the results with the links below this video. And I am out. Peace.